Hey friends, I'm Tamara Michael and today we're looking at a really easy watercolour painting. Okay, to start off with I have some 300 GSM watercolour paper. I'm using Rose Matter and I'm also using Viridian Green for my watercolour paint. I'll also be using a 0.2 micron fine liner and for my brushes I've got a small round brush a medium-sized round brush and an angle brush. Okay, to begin, I just put a tiny bit of paint on my palette. I love using this watercolor paint because it's it looks like acrylic paint, but you get to water it down uh, and you can create different depths of color really easily. So I love using this paint. Uh, we're gonna start by painting curved lines all over your paper, facing different directions. Some might be pointing upwards, others might be on a side angle. Fill your page with these curved lines, almost like semicircles. And then go ahead with a wet brush and blend out that green paint. So you want it to be really blurry um, and just pull out that paint from the green line. Doesn't matter if it's not even, we kind of want to go for that messy look. So just keep pulling out that paint using a wet paintbrush until you're happy with uh, the thickness of the green, the green curved line. Next up, you're going to go in with your angle paintbrush and I'm going to wet it and dip it into my red paint. I'm just dipping in the top end bit and I'm going to use the edge of the brush to create a triangle or a pointed line above the curved line. As you can see, it almost looks like a triangle here. And we're painting watermelon slices. So you wanna go ahead and use your angle brush to create this pointed edge. And again, go in with a really wet brush and pull that paint out from the edges into the center. Make it splotchy, make it different um, shades of red. It's okay if some parts are really light, some parts are really dark. That really adds another depth and another layer to the painting. So you don't want it to be one even color of red. Go ahead and make some sections a darker, more vibrant red and other areas more watery and, and splotchy. That's the best way I can describe it. And then go ahead and do that for all the curved lines on your paper. Okay, now I started to feel like there was still some space left on my paper, so I went back in and added in an extra few curved lines to add some more watermelon slices. Feel free to do the same, space them out, add as many as you can. I love having a full page um, spread. So this is all about just creating a really nice pattern and it's a messy pattern. So go ahead and add them wherever you like. Once that's dry, go in with your Micron fine liner and draw in some black seeds. Now I'm just spreading these out in random places on the watermelon slice. They can be pointed in all different directions. And then I also went ahead and decided to draw some black seeds in the background as well to fill in the white space in between each slice. And there you have it really, a very easy watercolor painting. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.